Okay, so this is question three on exam four review. And question three says, on January 1st, 2014, Hannigan Company issued bonds with a face value of $800,000. The bonds carry a stated interest of 7% payable each January 1. So there's an A and a B. So A, prepare the journal entry for the issuance assuming the bonds are issued at 97. And we remember that when it says at, that means at, and then the number that follows it is a percentage, right? So when we have these problems, we have to figure out three different things. We have to figure out, um, we have to figure out the cash amount, right? We have to figure out the uh, discount or the premium, right? Uh, and we have to figure out the bond payable amount. So in this first one, let's see, prepare the journal entry for the issuance, assuming the bonds are issued at 97. So that would be at 97%. So your cash amount is going to be equal to um, the face value of the bonds, 800,000 times 97%, which equals $776,000. Yeah, remember, remember that um, they could do the problem in such a way where like they tell you the number of shares and the per share amount. This one's just giving you a total of 800,000, okay? So for um, A, I'm gonna put A over here so we know this is A. So for A, you are going to debit cash. Oh wait, we didn't finish it, hold on. So, um, 800,000 times 97% gives us our cash amount for 776,000. Um, I should put the bond payable number next. The bond payable number is equal to 800,000. They already told us that in the problem. They said that's what the face value was. And if you, they didn't give you the total, it would be the number of shares times the stated or par value. Um, or I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking about common stock, it would be the number of shares uh, times the uh, face value per share. Um, and then the discount or premium is the difference between, so it would be 800,000 minus 776,000. So this would be a discount because the cash is less than um, the bond amount. So the discount is $24,000, okay? All right, now we have all our numbers. <laughs> so we are going to, first off, I'm gonna format this cell really quick. Okay, so we are going to debit cash for $776,000. We are then going to debit discount on bonds payable. And we're debiting that $24,000. And then we're crediting bonds payable $800,000. Okay, so that's A. B, we're going to have to figure out the same things, right? Same three items. So cash amount. So it says prepare the journal entry for the issuance, assuming the bonds are issued at 102. So that means 102%, right? So we're going to take $800,000 times 102%. And that's going to give us $816,000 cash, right? The bonds payable amount is the same as it was before, 800,000. And then the discount or the premium is gonna be the bonds payable amount, $800,000 minus the cash amount of $816,000. And since the cash is more than the uh, bonds payable amount, it is going to be a premium. 
and the premium amount is $16,000, $16,000. Tell me, okay. Yeah, I know I'm in the same place, sorry. Okay, there we go. All right, so for B, we're going to debit cash for $816,000. We are going to credit premium on bonds payable. That's for the premium amount of $16,000. And then we are going to credit bonds payable. For the face value of the bonds, $800,000. So that is question three on exam four review.